Um, after returning to Australia with a high-risk pregnancy and her four-year-old daughter, Cassandra Voss thought two weeks of quarantine would be the least of her worries until she tested positive for COVID-19. Cassandra is now locked in a small Brisbane hospital room and her daughter Thea, now considered a close contact, will need to redo 14 days of quarantine. Oh. Cassandra joins us now from Brisbane. Cassandra, thanks for joining us this morning. We know it's been an incredibly tough few days. You've got little Thea there. How are you both holding up? Uh -huh. Hi. Um, we're doing our best. We're, we're doing our best. Um, we've put the mattresses on the floor so we can sleep together because she just wants to sleep with mum. The nurses have given us a few toys. We're still wearing the same clothes we got on Saturday. Well, we don't know when we'll see our luggage. When we first arrived, they said our luggage would be three days. Uh, then yesterday it became five days. So we're not quite sure when we'll see any of our stuff. So it's been quite traumatic from her perspective. Um, she hasn't got any of her own belongings. I'm sorry, darling, I need to talk. Yeah. Um, How's she doing? And she's just consistently crying to her home. She doesn't understand. She doesn't understand why we're here in such confine, in such confinement. Um, so, so what is your daily life like then and, and, and how are the staff, how has everyone been treating you and I mean what are the next couple of days hold for you? Uh, staff have been really lovely, um, obviously they bring us breakfast, lunch and dinner, apart from that they're not really allowed in the room. Um, yeah, they've been bringing us toys but yeah that's about it, they can't really provide us with clothing, they can't provide us uh, with basic necessities um, and everything's bound by red tape. So, you know, you keep getting there. We, you know, we wish we could help, but there's nothing further anybody can do. This is the rules. Um, yeah, this is in our little cell room here. Um, and Cassandra, what really worries me is that you have a high risk pregnancy. To now have tested positive to, to COVID, how's your health? My health has been good. Uh, apart from this morning, I have a really dry mouth because it's so cold here. We've moved from the tropics, like, you know, now we're in a hospital, we're freezing here. It's so cold. We don't have our own clothes to keep ourselves warm. Um, yeah, so health-wise, I'm fine. I seem to be asymptomatic so far, um, which is great. So that means we can leave here on July 15th. Uh, but under the close contacts, although Thea continuously tests negative, even if she tests negative on her last day, they will force her back into hotel quarantine for an additional two weeks. So does that mean you go back into quarantine with her for another two weeks? For 28 days. I don't, I don't have a choice. I've got no one else. Um, I have to go into quarantine. She's four years old. Um, so it's not my requirement to go back into hotel requarantine, it's hers, it's a four-year-old. They want to shove back in another small hotel room for an additional two weeks on top of the three we would have already served. Um, and I've got to explain that to her and she just doesn't understand. And not only that, I have been, have been asking them to check the baby since I've been here and they're unable to provide that because it's not COVID related. So I've oh. come here with a high-risk pregnancy so I can be closely monitored um, and, and they can't send a doctor in um, with the machine to, to size the baby at all. So by the time I finish here, it'll be three weeks. I do two weeks, an additional two weeks with her. Oh, man. Uh, that's five weeks through the most critical stages of our pregnancy um, to not get checked. All right. I mean, this this has this has to be rectified for sure. What I don't understand here is, I mean, once you test negative to COVID, um, I mean, anyone else who is a close contact of a COVID positive case in the community can isolate at home. When you're talking about a four-year-old girl here, have they told you that there is no way you can do those two weeks quarantine that Thea needs to do at home in that environment? Um, I said I wanted to like, fill out an application and ask for a dispensation for us to quarantine at home on the grounds that she is four and I'm allowed to go free. Um, 
Yeah, yeah, and they just said, look, at, at the stage, it'll be very unlikely. They're shoving all close contacts into hotel quarantine. I just thought, Possibly. she is four. She has continuously tested negative. They said, even if she tests negative, and we both test negative on the last day here, we'll still be forced back in for another two weeks. And it doesn't matter how many times during that two weeks you test negative, they will make us stay. OK. Uh, what hospital are you in, in Brizzy? Oh, I'm currently in the Gold Coast. I'm at the Gold Coast University Hospital. OK, so, so it, would it ease your burden? Uh, and how much psychological, psychologically would it ease your burden if you were able to get checked personally, um, you know, given the state of affairs with your pregnancy? Um, yeah, I have, I have requested and continuously requested that at least they can do before I leave, before they shove us back in another hotel, is to check... The, check the fetus, check the size, um, check the blood flow to the uterus was our biggest concern. Um, we just want to make sure that's, that's OK, you we'll, know. We'll I hate to have we'll make some travelled inquiries. this far and gone through this torture and, and had another pregnancy that's not going to eventuate. Are you OK? Uh, yeah. Hmm. Yeah. What else do you do? Oh. Frank, can you go inside? Oh. Okay. Um, and then to shove us in a hotel room and then take all our bags. I don't understand. Um, why take our belongings? Okay. Look, um, this is a desperate situation. <laughs> Yeah. What is my family? Like, it's just... It, it's, it just seems no regard for human life. Like, I've seen plenty of videos of families shoved in tiny little rooms with children, and that just doesn't seem to be an excuse. Like, every other country you have to hotel quarantine in, you can pre-book your quarantine hotel. Like, how much anxiety would that alleviate if I could go... OK, I'm going to Australia. I'm going to pick a one-bedroom apartment with a kitchen so we yeah. can live... You know, is it so hard? I yeah. don't understand why it's so hard that every other country... And we have such a small population in Australia... You know... ..that I, we I, can't come home. You know, you, you, you have make, a choice you make perfect, to be able to provide You make perfect ourselves. sense this morning. Um, we appreciate you being so candid. We're sorry that you've, 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 you're caught in that room. With so much pain and anxiety, um, with a little one, um, there's so much going on in your life with the pregnancy. And you're being so yeah. strong for your little girl. Yeah, stay you strong. Are... Sending all our love and let us get onto this Thank for you. you today and try and find some sort of resolution. So it can't continue as it is. Well, if right there's not now. a resolution, there's got to be like a, a solution to help her. I mean, yeah. she, it's, uh, this is Australia, um, and this woman is, is don't have the right belongings. Hospital room. Medical issues that aren't being attended to. Come on. And five weeks in quarantine, not okay.